Hello everybody, it is Adam from SoGo Survey, and today we are here to talk about the risks of living more of your life online. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. In recent years, we've been spending more and more time online, but COVID-19 has pushed us online full time. All those hours online, what could go wrong? Hacking and scams. Not so secure. Security breaches can expose personal identifying information and lead to identity theft. They are also expensive to fix and can devastate a reputation. How do scammers do it? Links in malicious emails, gaining your trust, then offering products or services in exchange for financial information, or offering too good to be true products or services. Let's talk about privacy. Cookie fraud. Third-party apps and cookies access and track your personal data. The data collected can be sold or stolen, so you can never really know who has your data and how they're using it. Hackers can infringe on your privacy through camera eavesdropping through your personal tech, speaker hacking, which turns your phone speaker into a microphone that picks up everything you say, and hacking into keyboard software. Infringement and defamation. Content everywhere. Copyright infringement can happen to anyone that posts content on the internet. From images to video games, stolen content can affect your reputation. Watch what you write. You risk defamation if you write content for the web. People pay attention to what's being said about them. If you give them any reason to be offended, they could come after you legally. And there are threats both online and off. Talk about a real-life horror movie. Hackers gain access to potentially embarrassing or private information and threaten exposure. They can also find enough information to seek you out in real life. Let's talk about catfishing. This is when someone creates an anonymous online identity to take advantage of people financially and emotionally. Most often occurring as romance fraud, it allows people to cyberbully others and prey on the unsuspecting. Let's talk about your health. Sleep interference. The light associated with electronic devices harms your sleeping patterns. The always-on presence of the internet can mentally stimulate you almost 24-7. And of course, there is addictive content, gambling, excessive shopping, and other vices are endlessly accessible via the internet. Smartphone addiction is a real problem for those who must check their phones every hour or less. And it's just bad for your well-being. People who spend significant time on the internet are 30% more at risk of immune system deficiency. It may indeed be safer to stay home for now, but remember that life online brings its own risks. Be smart and stay safe. If you want to learn more about the risks of living more of your life online, we have a blog about it on our website. Also, please follow us at SoGo Survey on our various social media platforms down below. You can reach us at 1-800-646-0520 or email us at support1 at sogosurvey.com. Thank you all so much for tuning into this episode. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope you tune into next episode as well. Thank you all so much. Please stay safe and have a wonderful week.